Welcome to Sarah Spark Rugby League. Today on the agenda we're going to be talking about the new camp this weekend as Catalans vs Wigan in what is being dubbed as the Rugby League Super Cup, the Challenge Cup winners against the Super League champions, uh, Barcelona FC, arguably the biggest football club in the world alongside Real Madrid, have uh, opened the doors for Catalans to play there and in a stadium that holds 100,000 people. We're aiming to break the Super League record of 25,004, which was a, for a good Friday derby between Wigan and St Helens in 2005, was it? Uh, yeah, I think so. So, uh, is that going to be broken? My man Sean is going along for the ride. What are you expecting? I, I expect the record to be broken. Um, I think people are really talking about it. It's weird, because two yeah. weeks ago, there was a massive sort of burst, and everyone was like, oh, there's, there's been 20,000 tickets sold, and... There's been another six thousand on on the Barcelona site, and there's been Barcelona fans are expected to get a certain amount of tickets given to them and stuff, and and everyone's like, oh, there could be a, a really big attendance here, and then all of a sudden it sort of died down a little bit, and nobody's really talking about it in the week leading up. Uh, I do expect at least thirty thousand on. I think that's a reasonable ask, given that three weeks ago took twenty thousand tickets were sold. I feel like. In three weeks, you you could expect ten thousand more to be to be sold, and obviously with Barcelona's uh, social media platforms then starting their advertising campaign as well, you can you you see so, some Spanish and Catalonian people commenting on the, on those posts saying, "Oh, I might I might go to this. This looks interesting." Um, so I think I think you could you could um, definitely make a case for thirty thousand. If we're lucky, there's a massive upsurge in in Spain that we don't know about because obviously we're not part of the. The, the media sort of uh, cult out there so um, hopefully that does happen we push up to 35,000 and then all of a sudden it's it's one of the biggest events that the sport's ever had um, in in a country we never thought we'd, we'd be, be able to expand to and you never know where to go from there people talk about it and pff, people talk about the Magic Weekend obviously which is the following week and maybe maybe just maybe in, in the years to come um, a Magic Weekend could be a lot there but obviously we've got a long way to go there and Catalans would maybe have to sort of um, split home games between the south of France and the north of Spain to to sort of accommodate that growth first before we could start thinking about a long term uh, team in Spain. Yeah, well, you talk well, you talk about their magic weekend. Come to you on this, Mike, because um, like Sean said, you never you never know how it's going to go down. What what if we get a surge in people there? What if we get thirty five, forty thousand? I mean, how big could this be for the sport? And would a magic weekend be a possibility there in the future? Uh, possibly. Um, it's a long way down the line, really. Logistically, it's a bit of a nightmare for everybody, really, to have every, every club to go down there. However, I do agree with the surge in popularity leading up to the game because the Barcelona football team aren't doing particularly very well at the minute. I know they've won what they needed to win. They've lost in the Champions League, and so the fans might be looking at a different sport to... Uh, to keep them occupied, to keep them happy, and there's no better game than rugby league, really. So yeah, hopefully we can get thirty, thirty-five thousand uh, going to that game. Now, um, I don't know if we can offer in that game. Uh, yes, yeah, so what what you what kind of game you expect them? Because we're hoping these two teams put on a spectacle. Hope it's a sunny day, good weather, dry pitch, big pitch. Is it yeah, going to be? It's going to be a very hot and high scoring game I think just because defences seem to go out the window when it's a bit too warm and mm. with it being a new experience anything could really happen um, Do you think it's going to be looked at because I know in, in the NRL I think it's, is it St George against uh, South Sydney or the Sydney Roosters on Anzac Day and that game to them fans is almost like a final mm. do you know in the middle of the season, it's a, it's a strange really, they always sell it out, it's like a final, so I think this could become an annual event, almost like a bit of a final, or is it just a one-off, or what do you think? I, I, it's interesting, because Wigan and, uh, and Catalans have had sort of this um, this link since Catalans came into the league, obviously, uh, well, Catalans first game was against Wigan at home, which they, they famously won, and, nobody, and obviously they finished bottom of the, se the league that season, so obviously it was a game that nobody expected them to win. And maybe just a passion of the game sort of took them over. Nobody knew what to expect. Sim similar back then, um, similar to today. And I, I would love it because I think that there's 
there's a good rapport between the clubs. Every time we go over, we enjoy ourselves. There's obviously a few Wigan favourites that are now playing for the Catalans, and that sort of helps break down any sort of um, bad tension between the two clubs. And you tend to have really good good fixtures when they come over to England, and it's cold. It tends to be a really gritty, hard, for old-fashioned rugby game. And then when we go over in summer, you tend to get a really fast-paced, uh, high-scoring affair, which tends to like, and that happens more season, which which is quite it's, it's good for us fans. Cause obviously, it means every time we're going over, we're expecting to have a good game. I, in terms of this game itself, I feel like we're in the best position we've been in. Three weeks ago, you're looking at it, you see Wigan play against Castleford, and you think, bloody hell, this this is the team that's. This is the team that's advertising the sport to the world. I'm like, I don't know if I want to go anymore. But um, obviously, Wigan, play, Wigan played against highly favoured Warrington at the weekend, and not only played, matched them. If not, they were unlucky not to win, and maybe were the better team on the day. Uh, just got really outdone by Daryl Clark on the day, and that's probably put them in good stead, knowing that they've got that kind of confidence. A big personnel come back in the week, and Wigan will go to France with a lot of confidence. Catalan, on the other hand, are coming from games where they've dominated, obviously they battered Hull, and obviously only had Doncaster in the cup, but they've gone and done, done a job and got a lot of points on the board. So both teams will be going into this thinking, we can win by a lot. We can beat Catalan by 14 in early in the year, and Catalan will want their revenge on Wigan. And so both teams will want, will want to, to go into this hard, and I expect a really fast, uh, up-tempo game that with, a lot, as you said, a lot of tries, a, a lot of scores, and... I hope that Wigan can scrape it through, obviously, yeah. but um, maybe for the sport, the best thing that can happen is Catalan win and right. sort of yeah. any new fan get that experience. Yeah. But I sort of hope for with the, per with the bigger personal <laughs> content that doesn't happen. But yeah. With the bigger TV audience as well, yeah. new players, they'll be both wanting to go for it, really. Well, that's a big thing for Catalans because the distance, like Catalan obviously have this kind of uh, passion. For where they are, there's all the independence debate with Spain and all, and all that sag, which is com completely out of our uh, <laughs> kind of realm. But could they perhaps attract some of those Barcelona football fans to regularly come? Is that yeah. realistic? Well, like I said before, I think they probably could just because Barcelona football team aren't doing quite as. Yeah. Well, not, when you say they're not doing that well, they have won the league. I and mean, that, the I Copa think Champions, Champions, the, I mean, they just dropped. The, the, yeah. league, you know, the, so. the season's over for Barcelona. Yeah, they've, that's they've, the big they've thing. They've got yeah. the Copa del Rey final, but other than that, the, the league's won. It's been won for weeks, and as soon as Liverpool knocked them out of the Champions League, that was it. I mean, that's yeah. the big thing, so, isn't it? Like they, they lost a they lost a game they shouldn't have really lost, yeah. and then so all their fans are going. We need to pull away from this a little bit maybe and everybody expects Barcelona to win the Copa del Rey as well yeah, so yeah. It's, they're, they're expecting a domestic double they've done it a few times in the last few years so it's not exactly like it's not like Barcelona fans are, are buzzing around the football, football club at the minute they're doing what they expect to do yeah, yeah. and this is a chance and we all know not in Catalonia in general especially in Barcelona that the sort of independence campaign the political side of Catalonia is massive in Barcelona and if you can plug into that market a little bit, not obviously not to start a, a, a sort of right between the, yeah, the, yeah. the two, the, between the nation, sorry, and but if you can plug into that market and sort of that that independent passion that they have for Catalonia, um, as well as advertising the sport in a in a good manner, then just very very much possible to to go out and get a sort of long standing fan base in, in North Spain and in Barcelona. Yeah, well, I think that's the biggest thing. I'd, I don't particularly think it's um, them pulling them away from Barcelona. I think it's filling that gap when the football season's not there, yeah. giving them a different sport to be really passionate about. And exactly. I think this could be the answer. But yeah, you let us know, guys. Um, if you're going to the game, be sure to send us your videos and, and vlogs of the occasion like Sean's going to be doing. <laughs> I'll try my best. Going to be getting involved, <laughs> but I think he might be on the aisle. But we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, just what sort of game are you expecting and, and could it become a regular feature? And, and if it is a, a massive success, should we possibly have Magic Weekend there? Uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe.